All right, so Mac Miller, finally here in the UK. Welcome to the UK, sir. Thank you, man. How, it's blessed. How's it feeling? I love it out here. It's it's crazy just to you know I've been doing interviews out the ass and and it's dope to to see how much people really know out here. It's like it's a long ways from home and and I just love experiencing the culture out here. It's dope. So who taught you the business side of music? Because it's obviously very important for you. You're grossing yeah. more than you know signed acts at the moment. Um, I think that uh. Like, like no one really taught, like no one like sat down and really schooled me on the business. You know, I think that. So you didn't hook up with Jay Z or Russell Simmons no, or no one I like probably, that. I probably, I don't. That'd be crazy though. But it's, I mean, I might as well. Have, but, I, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, man. I think that I just, I'm just have that gift of like understanding. You know what I'm saying? I've been able to be a sponge in the game and soak up things from everyone and just kind of see what happens and learn from it you know like you got to be a student in something like that's what I'm saying like you don't got to go to college to be a student you know like I'm a student in this game and and right now I've been learning and acting on what I've been learning just from everything so no one really like sat down and was like all right this is what you should do this is what I think you know like like rostrum you know has been huge in in the whole business side of things but like you know, I, I, a lot of it is me too. Like I'm not like I'm not just like some rapper that is like who cares about everything else. Like I'm involved in everything. So hell yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, so at the moment, you know, we've got like Meek Mills, we've got Drake, we've got I don't know Pusha T. Right. You know, all these guys have got cosigns and big crews behind them. You never really got that cosign. Yeah. So how, how do you feel about that? Do you feel you needed that cosign or people didn't really believe in you? Um, I, I felt that, that, that since I kind of just came into the game, that, that, it, that you know, people were able to kind of just think what they wanted about me, which sometimes was positive and sometimes was negative. You know, like the thing about like someone like a Kanye brings you into the game, someone like a Jay brings you into the game. Like, right off the bat, you know, a lot of times you're just like, all right, well, that's Kanye's dude, he's going to yeah. be on this type of shit, or like, that's Jay's dude, he's going to be on this. But for me, it was kind of like, you know, they just didn't get it, you know, like how it all happened. So I feel like I, I just have, have earned the respect of, of people that I have looked up to as, as legends in the game, but are now, like, I can call almost not exactly but are some of my peers in, in the game now so you know that's dope to me like I, I've, I've started to be able to work with people like Wayne and people like you know Cam and, and people like Pharrell and 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 Gucci and and all types of people that are my favorites you know and so without having one of them bring me into the game I've put myself to a place where now I'm just working with them side by side. So sometimes it's not always good to accept that cosign right. for the young young and up and coming rappers out there but but you don't have a choice like you know what i'm saying like if i'm young yeah. if 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 kanye reaches out hell yeah i'm not gonna spit on his hand <laughs> like i'm gonna be like hell yeah let's go yeah i just was given the road that no one wanted to really give me that like no one wanted to even still to this day, I feel like a lot of people don't want to recognize me in this shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's cool with me because I'm like, I'm doing fine without, you know, you a sure lot of people. Are. You sure <laughs> are. So what would you say, you know, what act, what artist, what song, what lyric or album really kind of inspired you the most, inspired Matt Miller the most? Um, I say like it's a group of a few. I think you have, you got... Um, Midnight Marauder, you got Equemini, you got Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous, Big L, you got uh, Sgt. Pepper, uh, The Beatles, you got uh, The Wall and Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd, like just all these albums that have been just like more than their genre, that have been just pieces of art, have really been inspiring to me my, the whole time, you know, and 
have just been products and, and kind of movies and, and sound. So, yeah, that type of stuff has been... All right, having said that, just looking forward to the future. Lastly, yeah. I'm hearing a lot of titles of EPs, mixtapes, a possible second album dropping soon. Yeah. Can you clear this up? Collaboration EPs, I'm hearing a lot. I overheard you talking to your manager downstairs. Yeah. And I heard a lot, but I'll let you <laughs> disclose that information. Yeah, so we're doing... Um, you know, we're... We do things not the normal way, and that's always been like what I want to do. Like I've never wanted to play the regular game. Like I never want to just like sit on some music forever and not do anything else. Like I'm gonna keep working. So like I have Blue Slide Park. That's the album, and I'm gonna continue to push that for the rest of the year. Like I'm not gonna stop pushing singles off that. You know I have Macadelic the mixtape that's been out, and I'm gonna keep letting that grow and do videos from that. But at the same time, like, I'm about to do an EP with Pharrell called Ooh. Pink Slime. Um, you know, there's the mixtape I'm doing with Gucci. And, uh, and... So what's the difference between those two projects as quickly? Um, well, Pharrell, Pharrell and I, you know, I've been talking about this a lot, you know, for, for a minute. Uh, and it's more than just a project of music. We're, what we're doing is kind of we're just taking our brands and we're combining them and creating a brand, Pink Slime, which is going to be more than music. It's going to be like a whole lifestyle. It's going to be, you know, clothing and and like we're trying to do all types of crazy shit with it, like festivals and, and you know, everything. We want Pink Slime to be a whole brand that lasts forever. Mm. So that's like, you know, Gucci and I, like Gucci just reached out and said he wanted to do a mixtape and I'm yeah. like all right hell yeah so we're just gonna you know vibe make some hard shit and put out a mixtape and it's gonna just be hard and it's gonna be dope music and it's gonna do that and it's gonna be fun and something for the fans but the Pharrell and I shit is a little bit like you know we're gonna really sit down and and turn that into a whole different level of shit cannot wait for that i can imagine you and gucci sitting down getting wasted just don't get no <laughs> ice cream cones tattooed on your face bro i got you bro. it's been a pleasure you. thank you welcome to the uk g thank you what's up uk it is i mac miller and you can check out my exclusive interview in five magazine that's how we do it man i'm telling everything Bow.